Hi there, it's Liz Hoppy, and in this series, we're talking about how to make Google Chrome work for you. In this video, we're gonna talk about something that's gonna help you keep from losing your tabs and feeling overwhelmed by all the tabs you have open. It's called pinning tabs. So a lot of times when you have many tabs open, it can be hard to find the thing that you want, and you might close a tab accidentally that you didn't want to want to close. So if I'm looking at this example, I'm at where's mail, I need to check my mail, I can't find it. And oftentimes when we can't find it, we end up just opening a new tab and that makes things even messier. So oh, there's mail, let's click on it, you're going to right click on the tab and choose pin. Now I want you to see what that's going to do. It's going to move it over to the left side. Do you see it there? and it doesn't have an X next to it anymore, so I can't close it accidentally. I could right click on it and choose close, and when I close my Chrome window, it's gonna close, but I won't just click through tabs and accidentally close it. So pinning tabs is something that's really helpful for teachers if you have sites that you always need to have open and always wanna have available, whatever it is that you need to keep coming back to, pin it on the left side, you will always know where it is and you won't close it by accident. Helpful for students, if they have, say you have a Google Doc that has all their agenda and their links and everything they're gonna need for a lesson, they can pin it over to the left, they won't close it by accident and it'll always be there, or they can pin their Google Classroom if they keep needing to come back to it so they always know where it is. So let's see what that looks like. I'm over here, I have all my tabs open. I found mail. In fact, look, I have mail twice. I can close one of those. I'm just gonna right click, choose pin, and it's gonna send it over to the left. I'm gonna find my calendar and pin it, and I'm gonna find my Google Classroom and pin it. Now, whatever other tabs I go to, these are always gonna be on the left, and they're smaller, they don't take as much uh, space on the tab without the X. So that's pinning tabs. I hope that helps you stay a little bit more organized and uh, use your time effectively. Thanks.